I thought you might find it interesting to see how it is that we are managing our collaborative writing process on the Open Digital Archaeology textbook environment. We're using the Bookdown package for our studio, and what Bookdown does is takes a stack of markdown files or our markdown files, our fi or markdown files with embedded code snippets, and stitches them together into HTML, EPUB, and PDF. And it's a really nicely formatted HTML. It has site search within it, uh, allows the, the reader to jump into the GitHub repo or the, the source repo, wherever it happens to be, to edit or fork or take a copy of the material as they want, which is one of the things that we really want for Odate is for people to take their own copies and annotate them or add to them or remix them to suit their own pedagogical purposes. So to get Bookdown going, you need to have the, the latest release for our studio, install DevTools, install Bookdown, create a new R project, close our studio, open that R project, and you should have a new um, tab in, in this panel over here with build, uh, build the book. To get started, you need to have this index.rmd file with uh, metadata here, and this is in the YAML format, yet another markdown, markup language. We have lots of little files. It is possible to do all this in a single markdown file, but that way madness lies, because as soon as two or three or four people start editing that, uh, you could get conflicts, you could get... Um, merge conflicts, it, it just becomes a bit of a nightmare. So we have broken this down into subsections and then we communicate amongst ourselves, okay, who's working on 1.7? Okay, I'm working on 2.3 today. And we stay out of each other's hair that way. And my collaborators um, pull the project from the repo to their computer, open it up in their version of our studio or a text editor for that matter, because at this point they are just I, I've got the, the book down on this machine, so they can just edit the files on their own machine in the text editor they like, just writing in Markdown. I pull that material back onto my machine, and I stitch it all together and push it to where our um, where Odate is living at the moment. You have to have this index.rmd file. You don't necessarily have to have too much text here. Uh, I found that you can't leave this blank though or book down gets puzzled. This little bit here in the top level header, H1 header, uh, tells Odate, or excuse me, tells book down not to number that particular heading. Without that minus sign, Odate, DH, excuse me, book down will number it. And as you can see, so here's our first section on going digital. This will get a, a number one going digital. You can see we're using bib text and bib text keys to manage our citations, and it's just basic markdown underneath. You can do a few more nice uh, customizations. For instance, we use the Hypothesis web annotation framework to allow for collaborative reading of our book. You add that into your book down project by putting in the includes, in header, hypothesis hypothesis html well if we go to hypoth hypothesis html you if, uh, as soon as i can find it here here we go open the editor it is just the embed script so bookdown will take this this script and we'll put that into the header of the final html site and so we write and we communicate back and forth the references can be stitched together into a page of references at the end. The default for Bookdown also puts them at the end of each chapter as well. And you can also do a bit of styling uh, with cascading style sheets as well. Then when we want to build the site, it is simply a matter of hitting the build the book. It's simply a matter of hitting build and it compiles all of the markdown files into a single markdown file, runs that through Pandoc, 
adds in the citations from the bib text. It's important to keep your bib text files uh, completely uh, properly done up or you get some really funny citations. And then you end up with this really nicely formatted uh, PDF. And a really nice website and EPUB. To view the, the HTML, you simply spin up a server. If you've uh, you got Python on your machine, you can use uh, simple server HTTP or simple HTTP server uh, to, to do that. So that's a glimpse inside our writing process using Bookdown. Thanks very much.